All right, so here's uh, another example on when we need to use sine or cosine. So <clears throat> I've taken one of the questions from 25E, 1A, and I've taken another question here um, from one of the exercises as well. And so we're going to look at both of these. So both of these I already know are cosine rules. The reason I know is because we have this side and this side create this angle here 54 so whenever I see this this pattern here then this is cosine rule for sure and if this is the case so if I draw this here say this is 54 uh, and on the other side here we have 20 so this is 20 and this is 18 so I've just rotated the triangle a little bit this here is side angle side so we have a side and another side and creates the angle in between so SAS so if you have a question like this I would immediately label the side across from your angle small a because that is the side that we can find and so if you look on the formula sheet you will get a formula that is a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos of A. So now the question is where are all the other letters? Well, this angle is always the big A that you have in the SAS and these sides here this can be B or C. These ones can be either or. Alright, because they're both on this side of the equation on the right side. So if we have this now we can start filling in our numbers. So B is 18 squared plus c 20 squared minus 2 times 18 which is a b times 20 which is our c and it's going to be cos of this angle a and in this case it's 54 degrees so and this is all equal to a squared now if you try and put this in your calculator all at once, usually you will make a mistake. So what I would do is I would take these two here and multiply them out and see what we get for our values. So we have 20 squared, which is 400. Okay, and our 18 squared is uh, 18 squared is 324. And this you can all multiply here together, these numbers in front. So it's going to be minus 2 times 18, which is 36, times 2, 20 is 720 cos of 54. So I don't evaluate cos of 54 yet. And now the next step I would do to make sure I don't make any mistakes is I would add these two together. So you should have 724 minus 720 times cos of 54 degrees here. Okay. Alright. Now be careful, do not subtract these two. That is no way, don't do this, no. You need to, on your calculator, go 724 minus 720 times cos 54. So that according to your order of operations, these two here have to multiply each other and then you can subtract them. So if we do that in our calculator, we have so 720 times 54 degrees cos equals and now we need to do 724 minus this number. So if I go 7 24 minus 453 and usually we have all the decimals we have 271 so a squared is equal to 271 now we square root both these sides and we have a is equal to and so if I square root this I get 16 point five to three significant figures.
and that is our answer. So that's one example of using the cosine rule, side, angle, side, to get the side across from the angle that we have.